So then I'll weld this up, weld that. There we go. As are starting to look respectable. I should have brought my camera and tripod on this one. I could actually set it up and film this. But uh, I'll just give you a real quick glimpse of what I'm doing today, just because people always ask what I do on on-site work, and this is a pretty typical example. Stuff like this, uh, you know, go out repair people's plows and planters and build corral. You know, that's the kind of work I do, and just give you a really quick overview here of what I'm doing and what I did. It's a little breezy, as always in Kansas, so I kind of got to hide behind the truck. I am working on this side right here, replacing the way this hitch goes onto this drill. This drill is for wheat, oats, I'm trying to think what other plants around here we'd use this drill for. Uh, it's because of the spacing and the depth and how it works, it's for different crops. You got a drill and you got a planter. They're two different machines. This is called drill. If I can give you a little overview here, this gray piece sitting under these, they're called press wheels on this drill. Uh, that's just a little transport rig, basically. You back the drill in there, it raises up hydraulically. There's an axle on the other side that I'll show you. Tongue raises up. Well, technically tongue lowers, I guess. The trailer goes up. And since these are crazy wheels or casters on the front of the drill, they'll go any direction. So now you can hook that on the back of your tractor over here. And take the drill down the road this way so it's not very wide I think that's a little over eight foot might be nine feet not too bad because if you take it down the road the other way I believe it's 30 feet because I think each section is 15 then they take a winch and tie it on to that little anchor point right over there and fold this hitch back there's a winch right up there oh yeah you can see it uh, really clever gets that hitch out of the way that way it's not sticking out in the road, you know, because you can't have that hanging out over there when you go down the road, right? See these wheels here just roll into these two pipes, and then these and then these pipes come up. This entire transport rig here raises up. Really clever. Whoever built this did a really good job. Their fabrication skills are pretty darn decent. I'm impressed with that. I mean, that's a heavy-duty hitch right there. Okay, so right here, close-up of this hitch coupler. As you can see, it's been uh, reworked once or twice, and it's falling apart again. These balls are completely wore out. Here's the one I removed. A little bit of flat spot on that side. And what I'm doing to fix it is I cut the pipe here, put in a piece of strap iron in there, I think it was, and I can't put it back together with one hand. Got replaceable three-point eyes. These are for your three-point on your tractor. And then got some three-point pins stuck in there. I think this will work a lot better than those hitch and ball couplers type of deal. So I was gonna, I just cut out the pipe here Oh, so then I'll weld this up, weld that. And that ought to be pretty good and stout, and then drop the winch pin in there. Okay, I got that side spotted in, so this is what we're doing here. I do have it welded up under here, but the camera will probably flip. Nope, you can see it. All right, yeah, almost saw it. <laughs> okay, now before I go ahead and weld this solid, I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna get the other side spot welded in, but that's where we're going with it. I'm waiting for these welds to cool off a little bit. Can't really, you know, just weld everything up solid because it would ruin these eyes. You gotta just weld a little bit and then let it cool off and then weld a little bit more and let it cool off. So, yeah, I can touch it again, so about ready to start welding on it. I don't know if I said earlier in the video or not, but this side, that ball hitch, coupler thing had come undone on him. It just slipped right off that ball and 
kind of tore some things up apparently. <laughs> uh, this safety chain here broke off because it goes around like that and was welded on here and it will and it just pulled that link right off of there. Um, and he does want that put back on because he said it it helped. So um, anyway, yeah, this was all undone when I got here. That's why I got my crane out because I had to pick this thing back up and put it all in place. Oh, you want to see my uphill weld? Why not? Can I look into the sun? That's right in the sun. Undercut just a little bit, it looks like down there, but I, I don't know if that's undercut or not actually because this, these uh, eyes, these heim joints, they were really tapered through here so you could fill it all up with weld, you know, make several passes. So I don't. I don't think that's actually undercut. I think that's the start of the taper. But anyway, I need to make a couple more passes, fill that in. Probably come down a little bit in temp now that I got that burned in. It's really not taking too long for this metal to cool off today. It's, uh, I'm gonna guess somewhere around 40 degrees. I don't know. It was 19 when I got out of bed this morning. Warmed up above freezing pretty quick. But if I take my gloves off, my hands start to hurt. So I'm gonna guess it's somewhere around 40. I don't know. There we go. As are starting to look respectable. But got that finished, all three passes in there. That's done and made my weld around there. So now I just gotta finish up underneath. I got most of it welded. Just a couple inches back here I didn't finish. So this side's almost done. I think I'm done. Uh, got everything welded together. Got brave and dumped the rest of my water out on the ground, so hopefully nothing flares up. <laughs> uh, hook the winch line into this point here. I'm gonna go back there and winch and see if I can tilt this hitch up and make sure nothing binds. And then we'll uh, get the heck out of here. <sighs> Ain't much left of the sun. It's 4.30, so. I ain't got much daylight left at all. Okay, there she is. Hopefully the camera's seeing that better than what it looks like through the viewfinder. <sighs> Alright. See anything wrong with that? Well, that would have lost a few thousand more acres. All right, I hope this project made a little bit of sense to you. Kind of give you an idea of what I was doing. So, uh, yep, I'm going to head for home. Thanks for watching, y'all.